What's up everyone, GTA King here with another GTA 5 video. This is a give cars the friend glitch video. This is working on all platforms on old gen and new gen of GTA Online. Now this one is a little bit of a lot of steps for a normal glitch out. But you can only receive one car at a time. But I am going to teach you the easiest way of doing this glitch. And trust me, it is the easiest way by far. If y'all do find this video successful, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications. I always post the latest GTA Online glitches. Always coming at you with new content every chance I can give it. So... What you're going to want to do is grab a, a street car from the street and put it inside your facility, but you don't want to have insurance on it. Keep in mind, you're going to want to put a street car in there for every car you are going to want to receive. So you're going to want to put the street car in there. So I'm just going to grab the street car and head on to our facility and put it in there. You also need an asset lab inside your freak shop. And a bookmark job it can be a invalid job can be a job any type of job or a job that's in the game that you just bookmarked could be anything it does not matter but you will need to have a freak shop you will have to have done all six of the Dexter missions and have a freak shop and an asset lab so we're just going to take this car to our facility, we're going to put it inside, and we're not going to have insurance on it, and we don't want to put insurance on it, and then we're going to drive it on out, and we're going to drive it to our freak shop, and we're going to park outside, and we're going to teach y'all the glitch out. But keep in mind, you can only receive one car at a time, and you do have to glitch out for every car. And the facility only holds up to seven cars. So you do want to have a full facility and a, at least a street car inside of your facility. So I'm just going to put this street car inside of my facility. And then I'm going to drive it out and I'm going to make my way down to the freak shop. So this car does not have insurance on it. I did take it from the street. So I'm going to hop right back on in it. And I'm going to drive it out. I'm going to head on to the freak shop. And then once we get to the freak shop, we're going to park it outside. And then we're going to go inside and glitch out. And I will teach you the easiest glitch out. And this is by far the most easiest OTR glitch out that we have ever had in GTA Online. If you don't know what OTR means, it is off the radar. Once you do this glitch out... Everyone will think that you are at the freak shop, but you could be anywhere on the map. So we're just going to go to the freak shop and we're going to park this outside of it. Now we will have to come back to the freak shop after we glitch out and you'll see why. This is our personal vehicle, but we have no insurance on it, so when it does get destroyed, we won't be able to get this vehicle back. So we're just going to pull on up here, just like show.
We're just going to leave it outside. Doesn't matter where you leave it, but this is by far the easiest way of doing this glitch. So you just want to walk inside of your freak shop. Well, walk on inside and make your way inside to your asset lab. So we're just going to go inside and we're going to go inside the asset lab. And you want to walk up to the exit door inside the asset lab. And you want the exit menu to be in the left hand corner. So I'm just waiting to get inside of our asset lab just like here we are. And we're going to turn around. Here is our exit. So see we got the exit in the up left hand corner. So I just point that out right there. Left, up left hand corner. So from there we want to open up a pause menu. We're going to want to go to online. Jobs. Play a job, bookmark, and it doesn't matter what job we use. We're just gonna use any job, and we just want to spam A as fast as we can to we load up in this guy. So we just want to load as we spamming. We had a quick second to uh, hit on the X at the same time, and you can use an invalid job too. So invalid job, but it won't take you in the job; it just spit you back out. But a job that you can actually start up will put you in the pause menu. Well, in the pause, but in the uh, in the job menu. So you're just gonna back out of the job menu, and now we are gonna be OTR. So we back out. We're OTR. We're down here at the bottom of the map. But it tells everyone. It tells ourselves. That we are inside the freak shop when we're not. So we are OTR. From here, we just want to take a streetcar back to the freak shop and we're going to place a sticky bomb onto the car that we drove from our facility. From there, we're going to make our way to our facility. And I will tell y'all what happens next in this awesome Give Cars the Freedom Glitch. So we're just going to try to make our way to the street. And we're just going to take an AIS car from them. Because we are not able to call anything right now. Plus we don't want to call anything because we don't want our car to get messed up. Now, you can job teleport if your friend starts up a job, but we ain't going to worry about that. But you can job teleport, but we ain't going to do that. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to take this streetcar real quick. And I'm just going to drive real quick to my, to my freak shop. Everyone has the same freak shop location. I'm just going to make my way to the freak shop and I'm going to place a sticky bomb on the car that I want to lose, which is the car that's inside of my facility and I will leave it there. As we're coming up the way from the Ellis car meet, but we're gonna head towards the freak shop. If y'all want to speed part speed uh through this part of the video, y'all can. But I this part of the video is just me driving to the freak shop.
Now I did get cops on me. I didn't mean to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna register as a CEO real quick to get the cops off of me. I'm still gonna be OTR. So I'm gonna go in my secure serve, and I'm just gonna bribe these authorities real quick. You don't really have to be uh registered as a CEO for this. Uh trading method. I only went in my CEO so I can bribe the authorities that I have on me. So now I'm here at the freak shop. And my car is still here that I brought from my facility as you see. And what I want to do is I just want to pull out a sticky bomb. And I want to place it onto the car. I just want to make sure I have my sticky bomb out. And there we go. So now we don't want to hit any buttons. We just want to be careful of what we hit. And we want to grab another street car and make our way to the facility. So I'm just going to grab another street car. And we are still OTR. You will stay OTR until you receive a vehicle or you go inside of a property. So we're just gonna find a street car real quick. That's gonna be easy and light to be flipped over again. Cause we are gonna be flipped over once we get to the facility. So we don't want to hit any buttons. It's gonna set off that uh. Sticky bomb that's on that car. I think I just found something that's going to be much easier for my friend to flip me in. So I'm just going to grab this real quick. And I'm going to make my way to my facility. Now if your friend does have the same facility as you, that is okay. But I'm going to teach you a little method here. A little trick so he does not get sucked inside of the uh, facility when he parks the vehicle on the halo for you, you to receive after he flips you all that trick is he just want to open his interactions menu so it does not get sucked in But if he doesn't park it right, he won't get sucked in, and then you would have to glitch out all over again. So I'm coming up here in my street car, and I'm going to open up my interactions menu, and I want to park on my yellow halo sideways and wait till my friend flips me on the full alert. So I'm going to come up here. And when I drop my interactions menu, that's when my friend's going to want to try to flip me over. So I got my interactions menu open. And I just want to park my car on the yellow dot. Like I was going to enter my facility. But I have my interactions menu open right now. But when I drop this, you should get the full scream alert. So just like this. So now I'm on the alert. And I just want to sit on this alert until my friend tells me I am flipped over. He just want to get me on my side or on my roof. It does better if he does have a phantom wedge. But he is using the asset lab 
His uh, asset lab is brick A to 6x6 to flip me. But that is okay. Whatever you can use to flip the other person. We're just waiting to be flipped over. So I am flipped over, so I'm going to press A, then I'm going to press Y to get out of the car. From there, I'm going to want to blow up my street car at the freak shop. So I press left on the D-pad to blow that up. Now my friend just wants to part the card I'm receiving on the halo for me to get inside and get sucked in. If I get into any car right now after being flipped over, it will mess up the glitch. So he wants to park it nice and good on the thing. This is where he wants to have his interactions menu open so he doesn't get sucked inside his facility if he has the same facility as me. So I'm just going to hop on in. And it's going to take me right on in my facility. And it's going to ask me to switch out of vehicle once I get inside. And I just want to press B. Because if I press A. If I press A, which is X on PlayStation. Then it will not go over too well. I will lose this car. So you just want to press B, which is circle on PlayStation. So I'm going to hit B. With a circle, and then we're gonna hit A to confirm that we don't want to change anything. And if we walk up here, you will now see that we have the LD van. And I'm gonna drive it outside, and I'm gonna show you that my friend still has his, so he does not lose it. So there goes the van, it's outside, and my friend's going to call his van in to show you that he still has it as well. This is also where you're going to want to change your character's outfit to force a game save. That you have it, but we're going to show you that my friend has it as well, and he did not lose it. 
If y'all did find this video very helpful and successful, please smash that like button, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and I will catch y'all inside next video. Peace out, and I'm gone.